to me. Uh, hopefully that's true. So let's let's see if we can actually kill these guys. Holy shit! Did did he just hit me that hard, or was I already missing some health? Wes. Hmm. I really want to throw a grenade right now. It's not yes, a good idea, but I want to. I'm gonna throw a poison grenade. Wee. A poison jelly. I split some of them up so they're not just all ganging up on me. That's fine. That other one's just kind of walking around back there. Oh shit! No, stop running off! <laughs> Jolie's bloodthirsty, man. He's like, roar! I killed one. I can kill you too. Like, no, Jolie. I I killed him. I'm sure, I killed him. Why won't I jump? I don't understand. Oh, there he died. Okay. That's great. Actually, I think I just need to try to attack him. Ooh. Ooh. That was a close one. Yes. Stupid old man. <laughs> Okay, pump you full of wisdom and treat injury. What is this? Um, oh, saving throws. Stasis field. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. Yes. I gotta use my- oh shit, I only have one more med pack left. Oh, no more med packs left now. Can I kill these Giska? No, they just make noises at me. Those guys didn't drop anything, did they? Why won't they drop anything? Give me stuff, man. <laughs> What's the point of killing you if you're not gonna give me all your junk? Go and swim in, in my clothes, cause I'm a Sith and I don't care. Oh my god. <laughs> they tried to corner me, I felt threatened. Alright, I feel like this is going to be bad. Hey, Katie Cakes! How's it going? How's your night been? Yep, they're all pissed at me. Luo? I'm assuming he's the special one that I want to kill first, right? I'm gonna try Julie's new stasis field. Do it. Yes! That's awesome. That's pretty OP. Of course it's not gonna work against like the stronger guys, but whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> Julie's running off again. And I'm still not jumping. Why am I not jumping? Jump, bastard, jump! Finally caught up on some housework. How are you liking uh, Doom so far? There we go, finally. I've thought about it, and I, it always comes back, and I see it on Steam, and I'm like, is it worth it? Like, I was a huge fan of the previous Doom games, all of them, really. 
And it looks like they kind of, they've moved away from the horror aspect of it. Like they tried to go for it in Doom 3. And it looks like they're trying to go back towards the running gun sort of feeling. I like the new one a lot. It's so deeply satisfying, really. Hmm. Is there much of a plot to it? Is there story? Or is it mostly just run and gun and complete the levels like the the first games? Like I'm I'm pretty sure that there was some sort of semblance of story in the first one. But I don't think anybody really cared about it. There is a story, not one that matters. Okay. Uh, let's get some heals going. Went all run and gun. Yeah, I saw that. Sure. It was like it was. It looked fairly fast paced. So it's definitely going like back to roots sort of thing. I'm gonna go this way. Boink. Oh yeah, now you decide to jump. Let's see what you got. See, okay, so I'm getting just just to see how effective killing NPCs is for leveling. I was getting 50 experience for each one of those, right? I'm at 151,000 and I need 153,000. So to level up, I need let's say roughly 2,000. That's a lot of NPCs to kill. So I think it's just like... I don't know why they give you so little. Especially since most... I think most of the NPCs in this entire game don't even respawn. I thought there was something I could use right here. Maybe it was HK that was highlighting. Hola! I just break into your spa and stab you in the face. It's so rude of me. Construction kits. I'd really like some med packs is what I want. Why do they have construction kits? They don't have any droids around here. Oops. Yeah. Advanced med pack. <laughs> They're just trying to relax. I know. Look at this. They just got some beds out here. I have to commit murder. I'm sorry. Though they relax in strange ways, they're just like holding their giant double-bladed swords or whatever they are. They're not even laying down, they're all just standing around, so... I'm punishing them for not correctly utilizing all of their chairs. That's what it is. Kind of triggered that I can't loot these random boxes. <laughs> You're gonna put a box there and let me look in it, damn it. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm listening out for your wife to hear she's playing League of Legends? Uh, she's not home right now. She's still at work. She'll still. She won't be home for almost another hour. Yeah, you, you definitely know if she's home. Because first of all, you can hear her keyboard clacking in the background, and then you'd hear the... Suck my dick! Okay, this commentary is part of the experience. Yeah, it's just... She's, it's just part of it now. Ooh. I'm going into the Coliseum. Boing! Oh man. <laughs> These guys won't drop anything and I'm so mad. I want stuff. Um, actually before I go into this next part guys, I am going to take a break for just one second and go use the bathroom. So, I'll be right back.
Okay. I am return. These guys built the worst death machine in history. It's hard to feel bad for their deaths. Yikes. All lives matter, Derek. <laughs> no, nope, what did he say? I didn't read that. Did you say pull the lever, Kronk? Because that's what he did. Let's see. Elite warrior. Young Rancor. Young Rancor. Young Rancor. Hmm. Shit. Those Rancors are going to hurt. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Wrong lever! Exactly. Um. Fuck. I didn't heal up. That's what I didn't do. So, I guess let's just fight and probably die. So we can reload, since we just saved. Boing! Ow! They hurt, but... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can stasis field the Rancors. Uh, nope. Jolie died. Yeah. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let everybody fall. <clears throat> okay. I get they're upset about it, but they could have dismantled it or something. They just decided to give up on science past the Stone Age. Alright, let's heal. Boop. And a boop. What? And then let's do power shield. Save. And go forth. The black ricotta shall never fall to you, is that what I said? Yeah. Sure is what it said. Why do they have to go and make this about race? Damn. Shit. They all ganged up on Jolie. Um, sorry, HK, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm just gonna do a poison grenade. Fuck it, since they're all over there. Oh, this is the one. Shit. Uh, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm boned. Yeah, I probably have better luck just going and fight those damn Trandosians on Yavin. If they would stop focusing... Oh, actually, you know what I need to do? It doesn't matter if they focus Jolie, but as soon as they... Um, clump together in the middle, I need to use Stasis Field with Jolie. And just see. I just want to see if it hits them. Because it could be extremely helpful. I'm just going to jump off to the side. Like to one of these. Then as everybody kind of gathers around Jolie. Switch to him. And I guess use it on that guy. Well, oh, it got him too. I mean, you could always not murder them. <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of dark side stream would that be? Did he just die? Okay, sweet. And this one... Yeah. ...is stasis. Yeah. Holy fuck. That guy hurts. Um... Jolie doesn't even hurt right now. I wonder if I can cancel this and get myself some healing. Yes. I'm probably gonna die before that happens. No? Come on. 
Okay, so I just leveled up so I can use that level as a heal. Um, <clears throat> are any of these guys almost dead? That guy's almost dead. Let's see if we can finish him off. I missed? What? Rude. No, it's, don't attack that guy. I mean, maybe attack that guy. Fuck. Julie's down. Shit. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see if we can use my shield in time. And then... I might be able to disengage and then re-engage for a force jump. But probably not because I can't fucking get that to work. My guy just doesn't want to jump. Come on, one more round, maybe? And then I'll use this to level up and heal. So... Throw that and treat injury. Um... Ooh, death field. <laughs> I don't have much wisdom, so I don't know how much it'll actually help. But. Okay, but I am down to just this guy who, for some reason, is standing still and not attacking, so... I mean, I didn't ask him to do that. It's not cheating. Damn, that rank guard gave me 650 experience. Okay. Well, I don't know why this guy decided to uh, bug out. Don't throw shit at me. <laughs> oh, and I was able to stun him. Get fucked. Ah, oh, you can't do that. That's not fair. Yeah. All right. All right, Bill Cosby. Give us that loving. Yes. Um, let's do an advanced repair kit on you. A couple of them. At least they had the foresight to make force heal not work on droids. Yes. Okay. What? I think that went pretty well. All things considered. Uh. You didn't drink anything though. Wait, what? What I miss? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Let's go through all their junk. Uh, strength gauntlets. Ooh, another melee shield. Some, <laughs> some more ridiculous looking uh, goggles. Oh, the Bill Cosby. Ha ha ha. Hey, Ronnie. How are you tonight? Ooh. Sensor probe. I wonder what that does. I'm gonna look at, uh... Re-equipping HK again after I do all this. Wookie Warblade. Some nice grenades in there. Am I super cold today? Dude, I am... I See, I have mixed feelings about this colder weather. Like, I hate driving in ice and snow and stuff like that because it just... it sucks. And something is gonna happen because nobody can drive. Jedi Master Robe. I want a dark one, damn it. But I really, really like the cold in general like I, I love to be cold and then use blankets or hoodies or something like that to keep myself warm all right so can I just leave now <laughs> Elder Warrior. 
Is this another dark side option that I can do? Save me? I didn't save you. Yeah, I hear you. I love the cold. Keep my house at a constant 64 degrees. That's not cold, but it feels good. Dude, my wife hates it when I have the AC on all the time. I like to keep it so cold. She's like, can we please turn it off? And then finally, I finally gave in and we turned on the heater. Well, she, she turned on the heater yesterday, but when I got home from work today, I turned it off and I opened the windows. <laughs> I'm like, yes, bring it. I like it cold so I can bundle in sweaters. Yeah, see, exactly. I, that's what any normal person would like. My wife hates it too, says she's the only person in Nevada wearing a jacket in the middle of 115 degree weather. Uh, see, it's weird because I am a native Texan, so I am used to the heat and all that. But the way that it, ha it works down there, and I'm sure it's the same in Nevada, is that outside it may be 110, 115, but you still have to take a, a sweater or a hoodie with you everywhere you go because every place indoors is going to have the AC cranked to like 60 degrees or something. So you have to dress for both. And maybe it's just wh how I grew up, and that's why I like it being cold inside because that's how it is. <laughs> Field. You should speak to the council of our tribe. They may. Oh yeah, there's another tribe. Still, just hate the heat in general. I can tolerate it, just because you know I I grew up with it. But I would by far prefer to be cold than hot. Uh... Tend to wear flip flops and sweaters. Hell yeah. <laughs> I work with a guy who just loves wearing flip-flops. I think he's still wearing flip-flops, actually. It was like 34 degrees this morning. He just comes in wearing a jacket and blue jeans and flip-flops. Native Floridian. Used to steal guys' hoodies in high school because they kept the classrooms freezing. Dude, I have the window open and I have a fan next to the window on. Love your changing backdrop. Thanks. It's kind of like a makeshift thing because I couldn't get my widescreen mod to work for KOTOR. So I couldn't have the game fill up everything. So I had to just be on the side and I couldn't just leave it blank. You know, I didn't want to just have it be black or you know, solid color. So I started with just a picture of Malik and then a couple of streams in, I, uh, I, I updated it to a, a slideshow. Oh, there's still more guys over here that we didn't kill. I still got it. Keeps things interesting and emphasizes your dark side run. Yeah, that, that's why I picked all of the Sith. I, but unfortunately, there was only like Revan and Malak, so I couldn't find any other relevant dark sider in the first game. Yeah, it's the streaming of this game that is difficult. Yeah, dude, no kidding. Like, you can't even capture the game window using OBS because it refreshes at like 10 frames a second or something ridiculously low. So you have to do a display capture and then crop it down and... It's crazy. Ohio weirdly had the opposite problem where we never had AC in the summer so it would die every year. Yeah, I've lived in so many of the extreme weather uh, like areas that living in Ohio now is generally a good moderate medium because I was born and raised in Texas which has just you know ridiculous heats throughout the summer and then I lived in upstate New York which has really brutal winters so it's finally to land somewhere where it's you know not too bad on either side And you called him Bill Cosby or <laughs> Dude, look, look at that. Is is that not Bill Cosby? Maybe not. Maybe that that's not racist, right? It's just I 
What part of Ohio? Uh, in Columbus, the Columbus area. Other than the crazy rain, Florida isn't too bad on anything. Dude, I, I stayed with my brother in Florida, in Jacksonville, when he was stationed down there. He was in the Navy. Uh, I stayed with him for, I think it was like a couple of months, but it was like it would rain every single day at 4 p.m. Like, just in general. I, I'd have no idea. You could almost set your watch by it. Did I get this one? I think I did. Yeah. All right. I think I've killed every single person in this camp. Okay, so where do we go? There's another... Another tribe. It's been so long since I've gotten this far. I, I always end up playing through part of it and then stopping and then next time I play I'm like, well, I don't really remember where I was and kind of feel like starting over. I have start over disease. Find that. Hey, Justice Troka with the host. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Whoa, where did you guys come from? This place almost has the same layout as the Sand People camp. You know what? You're right. I didn't catch on to that at first, but it's it might be the same sort of map. And of course, they drop nothing. They're stingy bastards holding on to, <laughs> to all their shit, even in death. Um, I'm guessing I have to go this way. Wait, is that the way I came from? North Beach, Ebonhawk. Yeah, I go this way. Do you know about the remake of KOTOR 1? You mean, um, was it Apiron? Apiron? I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but the one that's in the uh, Unreal Engine? If you're talking about that one, then yes, and I am very excited. I I cannot wait for there to be any sort of playable anything from that. Just finished on Xbox One. Brings back memories as a kid. Can't wait for them to add two. Play the older public, but no PC. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. You can also play um. Uh, you can play it on Android, and I'm, I think on iOS. So if you have a tablet, or a phone... Ah, oh, shit. This guy's gonna hurt. He posted Malik's ship above Terrace like two days ago? Really? Ooh. Hold on, guys. Let's, uh... Let's go on an adventure together. Did he post that on Twitter? Give you the nice spinning, uh, spinning effect on the camera here. Okay. So here's the, uh, the guy's Twitter. Boop. Oh. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you're not so foolish as to commit the same mistake. Dude, that is 